Hey everybody, Kyle here. About a year ago, I bought myself this 35mm f0.95 lens from Seven Artisans, and I posted a very quick and dirty, rambly review of it when I first got it. I thought that now that I've had it a lot longer, I might want to do another long, rambly review of it. I do not think this is a bad lens. However, I do have to admit it is very much a one-trick pony lens. It is not a jack-of-all-trades. It is not a versatile lens. It is a lens that does one thing exceptionally well, and that's about it. It's very good for things that are close up, maybe one meter away from the lens in that range. You get beautiful creamy backgrounds with those results. Nice sharp central object, and that's about it. The edges really fall off. The problems lie when you try to focus on something that's far away, uh, it's just it never gets particularly sharp and the focus throw for farther distances is um, it's very easy for focusing close up and very difficult for focusing things that are far away. And even if you do get them in focus, it's, uh, it's not even sharp enough to trigger the um, focus peaking on my Z6. It is a DX lens, but it projects a large enough image circle that it can almost cover a full frame sensor. The very edges do need to be cropped off, so if you're going for a square format, it's wonderful. Or if you're shooting full frame video, the 16x9 crops the edges. You still get some vignetting, but if you're doing something like a portrait, which this lens is tweaked for, that's more of a good thing, I think. This has one of the most interesting sharpness curves of any lens I've ever used, where the very center is sharp, and then it drops very quickly as you go towards the edge. But as you approach the edge, just outside the limits of the DX frame, the sharpness goes up again. Well, this is what it looks like about five minutes after sunset. We've all seen people do day for night. I guess this is technically night for day. ISO is around 160. Not bad. Damn, why is shutter at 1 200? Okay, I finally got the proper shutter angle set now. My pans shouldn't look so obnoxious. Woo! Woo! Yeah! ISO 100. It's uh, about 10 minutes after sunset and um, wide open. Not bad. Civil Dusk, ISO is hanging between 250 and 400. Alright, we're about 10 minutes into Civil Dusk. And I've had to set the EV to minus 3 to closely match the uh, how my eye is perceiving it and make it match the EVF. But I worded that very poorly. Minus 2 EV, ISO 500. Oh, this is the first shot in FX mode. Prior to this, they were all DX. Froggy. It's that time of night where there's extreme low contrast, so you can't really see much of anything, and it's really easy to get lost. However, I can see clearly through this camera viewfinder. ISO 1000 DX mode
ISO 5000. Nautical dusk. That means the sun is now 12 degrees below the horizon. And it is noticeably dark. ISO 2000. So between 10,000 and 20,000. ISO 10,000. I love how strong the color cast is of various lights this time of night. Like by eye, that just looks like a faint white, but on camera, that's a vibrant green poking through. Astronomical dusk. ISO 2000. more stars than I can.